Home and she said, watching. hold on a minute. Wait, let me finish. Mel, this Mel, is Mel, not just, one of your TED Talks. Let me let Mel, me finish just, my comment. Yeah, let, let's him what, finish what Megan Kelly what Megan Kelly said was very simply, quote, Santa is white, end of quote, and so is Jesus. So I think the real issue is, you know, if you want to make a joke about Santa's whiteness, here's a way to do it that would not presume white normalcy or that white is the norm. You could say, for instance, and I would, that if there were Santa, he'd have to be white because no black man could break into millions of homes, even if he was bearing presents, and not be shot by some neighborhood watch captain. That's a way to be funny, but Fox News would never do that because that would presume that they had to admit racial profiling and racism were real. So there's that. I think the real issue is that she made a statement of fact, not for her own opinion, but fact. There's a difference between believing in Santa and believing in Jesus or the Buddha. Buddha did not come from Kansas. Jesus was not born in a manger in central Pennsylvania. He was a man of color, and the fact that we have represented him for centuries literally as a white man speaks to the entire history of white supremacy. We can act like it didn't happen. We can make it the punchline of a joke. But the reality is this iconography, Jesus more so than Santa, I agree with Mel here, Jesus more so than Santa is a real problem. There's a reason we've represented these okay. icons as white. It's not a coincidence that we've done that. You know, we can talk about a ping. We can talk about a penguin, but here's here's a simple historical fact. It's a lot more important than speculation about what a penguin would do to children. Here's the reality: the image yes. of a white Jesus has been used to justify enslavement, conquest, colonialism, the genocide of indigenous peoples. There are literally millions of human beings whose lives have been snuffed out by people who conquered under the banner of a white god. That is a far more significant problem than whether a black writer in 2013 suggests somewhat humorously. But but perhaps seriously, that we should change Santa to a penguin. Tim. No one's going to die because of that iconography. The white Jesus, white God imagery has literally <sighs> resulted in death. That's Tim. something folks ought to deal with. Tim, Tim, without defending... Well, I can't uh, imagine Tim. Christmas morning at your house, Tim. Tim, without defending uh, genocide. Well, I'm Jewish, uh, let, let me, so, let you know, whatever, great. But Tim, Tim, I'll go. It sounds without awesome. Without defending <laughs> genocide, let me just ask you to respond. I read something interesting in an interview with the scholar uh, Reza Aslan, uh, who is, who is I, I think it's fair to say, uh, not a conservative. And his, his argument uh, in, the, in an interview the Washington Post ran with him was that Jesus was from Galilee and probably looked like a Palestinian Jew. But Christ Absolutely. is... Christ is what we make of him, and that if you go, if there are Asians who uh, are Christians, they celebrate, they worship uh, an Asian Christ. Same thing with South, same thing with South Americans. Same thing with whites. Right. Do you think there's something inherently wrong? I understand well, here, you're saying that a white Jesus has been used to, to to do horrible things, but you're here's the difference. And Reza, okay. Reza is right. No, Reza's right, but the difference is that the power of others to make Jesus or to make Christ as they view him has never com come close to the power of the European power to make Jesus white. In other words, black folks can think Jesus is black and view Christ as black, but at the end of the day, the image that has been used to dominate Christianity in this world and on this planet is the white image. So therefore, you can believe, you, you can think Jesus looks like whatever you want or that Christ looks like whatever you want. Ultimately, though, there is such a thing as power, and it's not equitable. And so if certain people have been able to impose their image of the Christ, of the Savior on others, or God, or Adam and Eve, the first human beings ostensibly as white people, to believe that that doesn't have an effect is to believe that advertising doesn't have an effect. It's to okay. believe that companies that spend billions of dollars don't actually sell you stuff based on the images they use, which is nonsense.